Hi guys, I'm here today, <laughs> decided to give you a little bit of, uh, well my voice to be honest, um, don't really like my voice on things because it sounds rather awful on a mic even to me but I've decided I'd give it a go and we'll see how we go, it's the first time I've done it, more than likely be my last but we'll see like I said how we go. So today I thought I'd just show you this um, MDF bookcase that comes with five grey board A6 books to make and eight assorted spines to use. Um, so this is just some of the ones that I've got left. Uh, the one that I've made I've quite embellished quite heavily so to be honest um, I've only managed to put three in um, but again that's entirely how you make them. I must, have, I must admit though the actual bookcase is absolutely fantastic to put together. It's really easy to do as is the, um, the actual books to go inside. So right here we go. This is what I decided to do with mine. Basically I've used, I've, well first of all I painted the box with some acrylic, white acrylic paint and then I went over with a metallic grey paint um, which I will show you the inside and because that is what it looks like, oops I just dropped one, it wasn't very good was it? Uh, so this is what it looks like, the way I've painted it on the inside. So kind of did it in a grey metallic to match the looks of the papers that was just in my stash and I happened to like the papers. Um, like I said, really easy to put together. No to me, didn't paint the back, maybe should have done, but hey, who looks at the back anyway? Right, so don't normally do albums so please forgive my albums they're not the best it's something that would hopefully come with practice but ha, here we go so but those that normally love to know that i absolutely love to do my layering and my thinking so again using a few of the papers but combined beautifully with the um some of the gray board things that are coming out so Danny's cogs and this heart, I've used the hearts, uh, the arty flourishes are absolutely gorgeous and I actually made this flower uh, out of some foam miran but I used Lisa's uh, flower dye, um, let's see, should have got it out but I didn't, um, give me a minute this these these dies the largest and the next one down i actually created that flower with which like i said some foam mirror foam miran as, as it actually is but i always say it wrong um so that was that and then i did a similar design for the front um like i say now the heart has got some of the micas painted on as, as have the flourishes which in real life look absolutely can you see that I think you can that is a gold colour and again the keys done in um, in a different colour and um, and then I also use some of the sizes that Lisa, Lisa is going to have on her site soon and again some of the pearls that was on last week's show that should be in stock again hopefully soon um, so that was that one. Now, this is where I say, forgive me for my uh, album making because I'm not the best. Um, so for some of the uh, things, I actually use some of the Wordard stickers that are also going to that are on this February show. These are fabulous. Some fantastic sayings, and you just literally cut them down. And, Pull them on wherever you want so I use that on here and here and on these pages here as well um, 
a lot of the girls have done some fantastic albums and they've done some fantastic pages using the stencils of Aya as I have but doing them a little bit different so I decided I'd have a bit of a different ch change so I've actually done some with some little sort of sections that you could put some little notes or things in um, so I actually sneaky peek of some dye that's coming up in the future that I used as a little um, way of moving things and then just carried on the painted look and some of the stamping inside this is the motivational words stencil that I stenciled in place and then just put that in place um, I've used some of Lisa's stamps that was on her last show that um, absolutely awesome to use um, and again used various little sections as well as the main stamp and these are the um, word arch phrases again I've left space for you to stamp images or sentiments or what you want really again I made another thing on this one which again put the tag in a different place this time and again just leaving it blanks for things to go in hoping you can see this I don't know whether I need to put the camera down or not actually but anyway and then left this page literally for well whatever you feel like putting in basically this one's exactly the same put the ticker thing at the bottom just added a few stamped images for, again from Lisa's stamps and things and then this one at the back I made a tiny pocket using one of the be happy sentiments and made a couple of little mini tags using the stencil the stencils that are on the February show, February show um, which are bear with me um, this one here this one and the motivational words these are absolutely brilliant I mean I've stenciled through with inks and using um, as you can tell because I'm not cleaning them up very well and the stencil paste and they are brilliant they are really sturdy and they've got beautiful designs on and there is lots more of the of designs to be coming up in the future so keep an eye out for them right on to another one I've used this one I've done a similar thing I've used papers again um, I've just used some white foam mirror this time um, I've used one of the keys and again half of a cog and then on this one I decided that I would use some of the larger cogs they are literally just um, they've just got black distress ink just over the top of them um, I, I stamped one of the Lisa's butterflies um, lovely stamps they are this stamp quite good uh, very good uh, onto some craft and then I just I haven't got the die yet that's on my wish list <laughs> hey listening Lisa that's on my wish list um, and then I just fussy cut it out basically and then I added the uh, one of the keys again with some mica powder on the top which they really really shine nice uh, I didn't decorate the inside of this one apart from putting an inside thing on and then I also decided on this one which as I said when I said about using the motivational words um, stencil this one I literally just think some black distressing through so the create and the enjoy and then I use the hardware on uh, gray board on this for these pieces which again I colored with the mica powders this this one on the top this um, I think it's called cracked eyes I think yeah cracked ice that has a gorgeous 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 glimmer with it it's really really pretty I love that uh, I've just used some brushes and a frame from Miss Dash just to make it a bit different really and my type of thing and then again I've used the uh, hardware grey boards on the 
uh, spine and again just finished it off with another flower and then this one I again have done not too many pages this time um, and I just thought you could put some stamped images on that to be honest do some stamped images put them in hence the reason why there's the paintbrushes on the outside because well that's just me <laughs> and then of course you could make more pages inside I just decided to make just those those and then so there we are now I'll be fitting like I said I only managed to do three because I well I embellish rather a lot so there is the stuff to make a lot more um, like I said it comes with the ability to make a lot more I'm hoping to do another couple of others and just not have them actually in the case so that's what they look like in the case when they're done so there we are voice and all so hope you could understand me <laughs> maybe you could maybe you couldn't anyway let me know bye